Jen, welcome to my channel. Before I show you my bullet journal, I want to tell you a little bit about what made me start wanting to use a bullet journal. Recently, I decided to go after a big dream, a dream that I hadn't thought possible until a few months ago. I decided that I want to be a YouTuber that serves hundreds and thousands of people. And when I think about this and think about the possibility of doing that, I'm filled with so much excitement. However, being a YouTuber and like having such a high goal can be really overwhelming. Um, a lot of thoughts will come up like, how is this going to happen? There's so many things I have to do to get there and I really, really, really want to get there. So I decided to make a bullet journal because I know that this will show me what steps I'm doing to get there and if the steps, if I'm not doing enough steps to get there fast enough, then I can add those steps in and I can see it for myself. What I really love about the bullet journal is that it's a way to keep organized, but also be really flexible in what you want to do. Like I have all these planners that like have like, you know, the same amount of space for each day and no space for lists. And the lists are just like, if there are lists, they're like at the end of the month and there's only two pages. And it's just like, that's too structured and doesn't like work for me because it, like my mind doesn't even fit in that journal. Whereas this, I like I, before doing a bullet journal, I would just journal and write, but and or make notes in my phone. But things get lost and they're not organized. So this is a great way to stay organized but still have as much flexibility as you want. In addition to knowing what steps I have to take to become a YouTuber, I also realized that I spend a lot of time working on videos, and sometimes I don't take care of myself throughout the week. So I'm also using the bullet journal to come up with routines to take care of myself throughout the week, such as meditation and stretching. So the bullet journal begins with an index where throughout the journal you'll be writing down different things that you're doing. So the first thing will be a future log and then you'll write down one or two for the pages that you do it on. But this will make more sense in a minute. So the first two pages are the future log. So you'll divide the num you'll count the number of lines on the page and divide it by three so that you can fit three months on each page. So for me, I'm just doing six months to start out. And then you write down um, the page numbers at the bottom corner of the page, so one and two. And then as you saw in the index, you go back and you write your future log is page one and two. Now, we'll keep doing that throughout all the pages, so I'm not gonna keep going back to the index to show you, but each thing you do, you'll write down the page number in the index. So, yeah, the third page is kind of like a calendar. So this is for March, and um, you write down all the numbers of the month, so 1 through 31 for March, and then the first letter of each day of the week. And um, I started my bullet journal actually on March 5th, so very recently. And I've decided that I want to do um, this 40-day meditation on um, consistency. So I started it yesterday, made a check mark for doing it yesterday, and then I also made a check mark for doing it today. So that's like one way you can keep track. If you want to do a meditation for multiple days, you can keep track of it in the calendar here, and you can also plan for big dates. So like on March 25th, I have a yoga workshop, so I put that there. Um, on the other side, it's just like different tasks that I know I want to get done in March. Like I want to make eight YouTube videos possibly in March do four short-term videos and four live streams. So um, that's just like, you'll make big tasks that you wanna know that you wanna get done in March. But you also will have daily task lists. So here I did Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So you can see on Mon Sunday, I did most of the things in Gotham crossed off. And um, I'm still working on some of the things to cross off for today. But just to show you, some of the things that I'm planning on doing. I'm doing this creativity meditation through Headspace. Um, so that, this one is actually a long pack. It's about 30 days, so I'm on day 18 of that. I already did my consistency meditation this morning, so I'm on, this was just day two of that. Um, each night, I wanna manifest how my next day is gonna be. So um, for example, yesterday, I actually, um, I can do these manifestations right here in the journal. Um, so I'll show you that. Um, so yeah, here is like, I just labeled it as page nine and put it in the index and I manifested 
how I want the day to go. So I said, tomorrow I'll wake up motivated to do my magic 10, which is 10 yoga stretches I want to do every morning. Um, and I'll do the creativity meditation and the consistency meditation. I will start planning my Buddhism video. So it's just like kind of like a place for me to be excited about what I'm going to do the next day. Um, I also wanted like free flow journal every day. Um, I mentioned the, the stretches that I want to do every day. Um, I want to keep my house clean every day. Um, and yeah, that's like just like different things that you know you want to do every day. And obviously some days there'll be tasks that you don't do every day, but just on a certain day and I'll write that there. And then what's cool about this is that um, you can look at what's not crossed out by the end of the week or by the end of the month. And if something I was supposed to get done on March never got done, I can put it in the April future log. So next, I'm gonna just show you how you can do whatever you want in this book. So like this, learning about, I just made this list about YouTube video ideas. You don't have to do this list, but just like any list that comes to mind that you think will be a benefit to you, put it in here, label it, and make it in your calendar. Cause I know I have lots of notes on my phone with full of YouTube video ideas, but sometimes I never find those notes again. So here's a real way to keep your notes organized. Um, I have another page of YouTube growth ideas. And then here's where I'm gonna like try to formulate my morning routines and my nighttime routines. So like I said in my morning, I wanna do 10 yoga stretches and do the creativity meditation. Whereas at night, I wanna manifest every night. So my intention for the next day, brush my teeth and floss, do the same 10 yoga stretches and do another meditation. Oops, I flip this page. So then here, I'm just like kind of going on and like, I did this manifestation journal. Here's just like a regular journal labeled at page 10 and told myself in the index that this is the page that I do regular journals on. And whenever I want to do another regular journal, I just do it where there's space. So like this is a shopping list. Um, and then this is really interesting. I'm trying to keep track of how I'm spending my time. So on Sunday, I woke up at 9 a.m. and I did my stretches and I did my meditation, but I spent two hours watching a video about this girl who was on Dr. Phil. And that was just such a waste of my time. So but I'm really happy that I kept track of it there so I can be accountable and know, hey, you spent two hours watching this girl on Sunday, so you better not spend too much more time wasted this week. Um, but if you do, obviously, just keep it down so you know what you're doing and then maybe next week I can try to improve that. So yeah, just like I keep making new pages and just keeping track, lots of meditation, video ideas. Yeah. At its skeleton, the bullet journal has an index, a future log, a calendar, a monthly task list, and a daily task list. Then you can make it whatever else you want from there. So as you saw, mine is a lot about YouTube and meditation. However, if you're trying to lose weight, you can make your list about what you can eat and what exercises you should do. So you can really make it whatever you want. And I think it's really important to do to become your best self. So I'll put timestamps in the description below, kind of pointing out like the different parts of the bullet journal in case you still had some questions and just wanted to like, like what is the future log? See, if you want to see what that was again, you could see that from the timestamps below. Um, I'll also post another tutorial for it um, by like this like uh, bullet journal website on YouTube. So I'll post that below too. So for even more instructions on that and I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe if you want to see more of what, how I'm using the bullet journal in the future, I could share another video on that. Um, all right. So, uh, if you like this video, please like it. It will really help me out and will help other people find the video. Um, if you want to see more of me, subscribe to me. My channel is all about being your best self and going after your dreams. Oh yeah. And, uh, share this video with anyone that you think might use it. All right. Bye.